Hi, this is Yabagai. Yeah, you! Down here! <laughs> Welcome to a Katain module tutorial on the subject of 10 pins by Taz Thing and Vincology. 10 pins is a good looking module. Look at this. All these bowling pins, the big balls. I'm actually a fan of small balls myself. No, seriously, I am a fan of candle pit bowling since I'm from New England, which I think is the most skillful version of the game, but this is based on the form of bowling we all know and love. These modules lay out bowling balls, which are either red, green, or blue, and pins, which are additively mixed between red, green, and blue color channels. And what I mean by that is this. The red, green, and blue color channels combine to either color the pins a certain way, or if none of them are present, the pin won't appear, like I'm pointing my cursor at over here. So the first step is to determine the location of the pins for each color channel. The objective is going to be to tap this bowling ball at three specific times, I should mention. But first step is to find the red pins, the green pins, and the blue pins. Remember, red can either be red itself, a mix of red and green to make yellow, or a mix of red and blue to make magenta, or a mix of all three to make white. So anything in this circle, which I've garishly highlighted here, is valid. So red, yellow, magenta, and white pins are here, 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 and here. Let's have a look at the table here. Here are the various splits that these pins can be in. The black pins represent pins present. And what we have to find is the leave, whether it's rotated and whether it's inverted. That is, it shows everything except the pins in that leave. And it could also be mirrored, but that's not material to the solution. In this case, what we have here is an inverted cocked hat. See that? The 2-pin, the 7-pin, and the 10-pin are missing here. And it's not rotated at all, so the 1-pin is at the bottom. You may have heard me... Where the heck is my diagram? You may have heard me uh, refer to these pin numbers here. Um, that's how you would refer to them in actual bowling. It's a potential way for you, uh, between Diffuser and Expert, to relay these pin positions. Or you could relay them in reading order. It's up to you. But the critical one is the fact that the 1-pin is typically at the bottom that's how it is in these diagrams, so if it's rotated from that, your diagram is rotated. Just keep that in mind. But in this case, we have red is cocked hat, inverted, and not rotated, or rotated so the head pin is at the south. We come now down to these tables. This is step three, to get the time constraints for each channel. And what we have are the columns at the top here. So for red, the leave was inverted, so that's our first constraint. And the second constraint is pin 1 is south, and it was a cocked hat. And now, between these two highlighted cells, you see how we took the intersecting cells off those tables. Between those two time constraints, we have valid times we can press it at. We'll get back to that later, but I'll briefly mention that the percentage looking icon is the modulo icon. Subtract the number from n until it uh, can't be subtracted from without going negative, essentially. That operation. We'll get back to that later, but we have to do the same process now for green and blue. Green is yellow, white, cyan, and green itself. So that's here, here, here. How? How does that happen? How? 1, 7, 10? How do... This game is rigged. Anyway, that is a leave. How? It's one of the most memorable ones called High Low Jack and Candle Pin Bowling. And... It's never going to be rotated. It's nonsensical to consider it rotated or mirrored or anything. It is a normal leaf since we have just those three pins. So for green, we have normal, green, and we select here. And then... Oop, I'm just realizing I've wiped away with the Alt and C command. That was not very good. We have an inverted cocked hat on the last one. Rotated south. Don't do that. Make sure you get all your leaves down. It's a normal leave, and the leave is how, but we don't know whether you use south, northwest, and northeast. We have to rely on these rules here. Trash the annotations, and let's go for blue now, so we'll have to come back to this later, is my point. Where are the blues now? That would be blue, cyan, magenta, and white, which are here, 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 and that's it. What have we now? We have 
An error tone. Great. Um... Oh, I know this one. Don't tell me. Ah, the 4 7 10 split. With the head pin at the south position. And it is a normal leaf. So, and it is not mirrored either. Could have been mirrored, but it's not. So, it's a normal blue in this case. So that's one constraint. And then the head pin was at the south, just like it is in the diagram. So, pin 1 is south for a 4 7 10 split. And that forms the other condition. So now the remaining thing to do is just consider these paragraphs and place that how leave, which we don't know where the head pin is, using these special rules. If the split is how and the other two splits use the same column, use that column. So in this case, that's a remaining condition. And if there are multiple house conditions, it just tells you red goes in first, sec green goes in second, and blue goes in third. There you go. Now comes the fun part. Now we get to throw the bowling balls. Get to throw three bowling balls in big ball bowling. Well, you don't usually, but you, you wouldn't candle pin. Just saying. Um, the bowling ball is green right now, so we need to take the green time constraints. First of all, let's use this one down here n modulo 10 equals 4, that means we need to press the bowling ball when it ends in a 4. But what's the other constraint? Make it so that n mod 20 is between 4 and 15 exclusive. But if we need it to end in 4, does that mean 4 would work? Does that mean 24 or 44, which are equivalent mod 20, would work? No, because that would equal 4 in this case, which is not allowed. So it has to be... 14, 34, or 54. You'll always get three valid times. So I'm looking at the bomb timer right now, up here, and we see that 54 is the first valid time to press it at. Let's see. Perfect. That color changing ball, instead of a nasty red status light, means we got the first one correct. Second one, red. N mod 10 equals six, so it's going to end in a six. So is it 62646? Because these are all mod 20 up here. Is it 62646? Or is it 163656? N mod 20 is greater than 9. Well, if it was 6, or 26 or 46, but if it's 6, that's not greater than 9. If it's 16, 36 or 56, 16 is greater than 9. So 16 is next. That's 2. And finally, for blue, must end in a 3. Everything is end mod 10 down here, so is it 3, 13, 33? Uh, 3, 23, or 43? Or 13, 33, 53? I'm the expert, don't worry. Um, if it was 3, 23, or 43, 3 mod 20 is 3, which is between 2 and 13. If it was 13, that would hit the upper bound. So uh, 13 would be less than 13? No, it's equal. So it's 3, 23, or 43! Nice spare! We did it. And there it is. That is 10 pins. What a great module. Tricky mathematical calculations. But again, consider the second table before the first table. That way you get a last digit. You're down to six possible times. And then by using the top table, you narrow it down to three. Hopefully that makes sense. Please, any questions, any better solving methods, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of this tutorial. And hope you enjoy the module. And thank you very much for watching.